So this is Samsung Galaxy F15 and today we are looking at some of its cool features that it has to offer but mostly it's the Samsung's One UI which has been really cool and they have provided plenty of helpful features and really really fast in terms of how the user interface that they have tweaked. So it's running One UI version latest 6.1 and you also have the Android version 14. So make sure to update to the latest version and look at the smoothness here. It's although having MediaTek 6100 plus processor, I've made a video on that one but it's running still very smooth because of the tweak that they have done with the Samsung's user interface. All right, so without wasting any more time, let's dive into the video. The first setting that I'm going to show you is really, really helpful and really cool. You'll right away start using it if you haven't so. So we will quickly move to settings display. And if you come down, you'll find the edge panels. Just tap on it once and here you'll find off. So switch it on and instantly you'll see a mark over here. As you can see, the slider we can say. So that's the very quick shortcut that you can bring. Now I'll show you in detail in depth you will absolutely love using it so first of all let's set up the panel here as you can see there are plenty of icons the first one is apps they have divided into smart select in tasks and weather tools people reminder clipboard so based on your preference you're liking you can easily customize any when you want so I have ticked the apps here so instantly I can bring it like this and quickly open any apps that I want so it's a one touch and instantly you have that app open so similarly I can bring it on I can bring up the calculator I can do some quick tasks as well I can also edit the icon so whatever apps I want I can put it here I can even do the split mode save it right over here if I just tap on once and instantly both apps will be open in split mode so all those customizations are available here so how many apps you want you can actually add up here so once I bring the icon quickly or instantly, I can open up that. So it's that fast and very helpful. The second one is smart select. So how do you bring that smart select? Just swipe again here. You'll see the smart select here. So first let's set up this one. So based on your preference, you can go ahead and set up just like I said. So I have all this set up according to my liking. There is also weather. There is also tools, tools which I'll show you right now. It's really helpful and you will be blown away by its feature. There is also people instantly you can use it to call whoever you want. So you can set up the call feature right over here. So once we have done that, we'll take back and click on the handle. So what color handle you want, as you can see, turn to blue. You can also select your own choice. So you have that option as well. And with the transparency, how thick, how thin you want that handle to look. So it's uh, again, very customizable. So how tall you want, how thin or thick you want it on your screen. So vibrate when handle is turned. If I just tap on the handle, you'll feel that vibration. So it tells you that you have touched the handle there. So you can also lock handle position. You can also move this handle wherever you want. So you can position that it's really helpful. You can also bring it to left side. So right now the handle, as you can see, it's here. So you can right away move the handle right here. So all this customization, once you have done this customization, so what you wanna do is to go back and go back and just normally what you want to do with your phone, you'll be doing that and quickly you can bring that here. So let's say I want to take a snapshot here or screenshot wherever I want. So square instantly you can capture. So it's one is to one ratio, you can bring it to two is to three ratio. 16 to 9 ratio so once you have done that just tap on done and instantly you have the screen shot here you can also pin copy and editing on all that stuff here i can also take back and bring up again i can also insert or pin here i can even create an animation gif which is really cool so if i swipe again we have all this note shortcut if i swipe again you will see that we have the current weather here humidity uv index and it's a shortcut again so if i again swipe like this you will see the compass here i have calibrated so you can just tap on the calibrate and you can calibrate once and easily you can have the compass here so it's not just that you just tap on this three dot here once you do that you will see that you have the tally counter here you can always uh, keep up the tally counters whenever wherever you want you can use that feature you also have the torch function and this is really handy if i just tap on this one so whatever i'm doing on the phone i can instantly bring up and tap on the torch here and i can also increase the brightness so does your phone do this let me know look at the awesome feature that they have provided here with the samsung and again we have all these shortcut apps so if i just tap on this one instantly i have it open so this is the cool stuff that you can do with the samsung's one ui and it's been there for years actually i've been using it for years 
but just a heads up if you didn't know about that edge panel now you know and you start using it it's really helpful shortcut so that's the first setting we saw we'll move to the second one here just quickly again going to the settings here and again in the display there are a couple of things that you want to see so just tap on display here you have the motion smoothness so if you want 90 hertz refresh rate to be turned on you have to tap on this high if you are very short of battery and you want the extra battery backup you can always switch it to standard or use the power saving mode so with the high you get the 90 hertz refresh rate all the time and another one is the side button here if i just go right to the bottom you will find the side button which is also located in the advanced features actually so this side button so we have the side button right so what function you want that side button to let's say quick launch camera we have set it to this one or you can easily bring on any apps you want just tapping double tapping this side button so let's say gallery i'll set it to gallery open app so i'll just double press this side button instantly have the gallery opened so this is how shortcut you can set up with your phone so this is side button working flawlessly whenever you want you have that access to the quick opening of any application so that's again a really helpful feature that i see from this one ui and last but not the least because the video gets lengthy we'll make some other videos as well regarding this one so last but not the least one thing i want to show you is let's quickly move on to the device care so we will tap on device care here so once we are here if you just scroll down all the way you'll have this memory just tap on memory and bottom you see the ram plus so just tap on this one and increase the ram to 6 gb by default it's set to 4 gb so you have that access 6 gb plus 6 gb which is 12 gb so virtually you can set the ram and make it fast so just tap on this restart if without restarting you won't get that in effect so make sure you restart your phone and start using it so the phone is starting here you will see the extended ram here once we go to settings let's quickly go ahead here let's quickly go to settings so inside the settings let's go to device care and then memory there you go ram plus 6 gb is already set so virtual memory will be always working and it will give you some boost in terms of performance so there are plenty of other cool tricks here i'll be sharing in another video so until then don't forget to click on that subscribe button also like and share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next one bye bye